The most overlooked cause of physical pain in your body are the muscles and trigger points inside these muscles. I have two books up here that I use as a reference. These are great books. I'll put links down below in the description if you want to uh, look at them on Amazon, but they're from Travell and Simons. And Travell and Simons were two medical doctors that um, basically figured out a long time ago that muscles cause pain. Pfft, duh, right? Let me get comfortable here. I'm going to tell you some details about this. The details regarding this are that muscles sometimes will have areas where there's kind of a contractile tissue. It's not the entire muscle that's in spasm. It's just part of the muscle that's in spasm. And very often it's chemicals that tend to bind the fibers of the soft tissue around the muscle fiber or the muscle fiber itself. Either way, there's a plenty of research on this on trigger points inside muscles. I'm gonna show you the basic philosophy of how I treat patients and how I eliminate pain almost too simply because every doctor seems to be looking at x-rays and MRIs and CAT scans and they usually tell the patient, well, there's nothing wrong or you have arthritis, there's nothing we can do other than surgery. And then I get in there with some piece of equipment like this and all of a sudden, you know, in a couple months, the patient is totally pain-free or their pain is minimally reduced. I'm gonna use my forearm as an example, but this can be used for any muscle in the body. And there's over 600 muscles, by the way, so there's a lot to learn. That's why I suggest getting the books. But I'm gonna say that my muscles here on my forearm, if I'm getting pain around my elbow or my forearm or radiation into the wrist, I'm gonna look at the muscles that surround that area that have potential to refer. Trigger points often refer pain. So what's interesting is in the extensor carp, let me see if I can show you. Let's see if we can do this here. Extensor carpi radialis brevis right here. That muscle will very often refer pain down into like the middle finger. So, you know, that's where the person hurts. I always love doing that as an example. It's kind of funny when you do it with patients. But the thing is, is that if you, if you palpate with your fingers and squeeze the muscle like this, very often you'll find that the muscle feels like raw steak because that's essentially what we are. That's what our muscles are inside our body. It's basically raw steak. So imagine yourself with your eyes closed, you're pinching the muscle and it feels like raw steak. And then you get to a spot that feels like beef jerky because basically, you know what beef jerky is? Beef jerky is dried up meat. So instead of raw meat, it's hardened meat. You'll get to a point where it'll just feel like you can't push deeply into it. That's a trigger point. Very often the trigger point will be painful. And this is the fascinating part. The trigger point, when you press on it, will often radiate and cause the exact pain the person is experiencing. So whether I'm on the neck, lower uh, neck, shoulder muscles of the rotator cuff, I know exactly where these muscles refer to. So when a patient says, I'm getting pain around this area, I'm getting pain around this area, what happens is I know that I know the pain patterns. So I can target these muscles and figure out what where they are and wh where the potential problem is. Now, let's say you find a trigger point in a muscle. What the heck do you do for it? I'm gonna tell you. You get one of these on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. I don't suggest using your thumb because after a period of time, I've been doing this for 28 years, you can start to develop problems with yourself. So use tools. It's a lot better for your joints. But what you'll do is you'll apply pressure onto the muscle and apply firm pressure. So on a scale of one to 10, it's about a six or a seven. So it's pretty firm pressure. You'll press on it and the patient will notice, oh man, I'm getting pain. Now, if you maintain the pressure, if you're right on the bullseye, guess what happens? The pain starts to dissipate. You very often feel the trigger points start to melt underneath your fingertips or the tool. Once that happens, that's half the battle. The next half of the battle is you must stretch and lengthen that particular muscle. This does take some knowledge because if you don't know how to stretch the muscle, you're kind of screwed, but not really because you bought the books. It shows you how to stretch the muscle. So in this particular case, I would apply pressure 
It takes usually about 10 to 20 seconds before the tenderness goes down. Afterwards, then, I would use my middle finger in particular, because that's the trigger point, and stretch and lock out the elbow, stretching that muscle for about 30 seconds. You go through this process with all the muscles where the person has a problem, eliminate the trigger points, and it's bloody shocking how well this works with physical pain. Try it, get the tools, get the knowledge, and you'd be surprised how you can probably help yourself more than any doctor can.